so pretty I think because this is the beginning of the week the rest of the class are gonna join us but late good morning Tamir how are you doing thank you have you enjoyed your weekend mm, yes okay that's great so and today's reading comprehension we'll continue speaking about uncle marcus unit five that's page 449 so quick revision we have been speaking about uh, happiness talking about what uh, uncle marcus can someone remind me of the summary of that story what was it talking about Anyone? Hussein? Okay. So, in the summary of this reading comprehension, it was speaking about a man called Marcus. They usually called him Uncle Marcus. This man, he used to travel a lot, and by traveling, he is used to bringing a lot of unusual animals and unusual things to home once he comes back. So Uncle Marcus is an excerpt from Isabella Alindi. The House of Spirits. During Clara's childhood, Uncle Marcus occasionally returns from journeys from far away lands, bringing all manners of luggage. This luggage that he brings they are very, very strange. So all manners of language and not uh, the usual or the custom one. Okay, animals and unusual items uh, with him. Also during these visits to his uh, sister's house, uh, he might bring uh, during these uh, visits to his sister's uh, house. So he might bring also embarrassment, and here we need to stop a little. We said that he would like uh, sometimes to bring embarrassment because his actions were unusual. His action were unusual. Okay, why it was unusual? because a man like this he just needs everything to be done according to his own thinking his own ideas so he just doesn't uh, ah, okay ah, i love to dance so i'll dance i'll make something uh, uh, strange so i'll just do it just like that so that's why he sometimes might bring the embarrassment to the family and uh, also, as he does when he buys a parallel organ in order to publicly woo his cousin Antonita because he loved his cousin Antonita, but unfortunately she married another man now. He also might bring excitement, okay? So he might bring embarrassment or even excitement as he does when he built this uh, flying machine uh, that looks like Bird, Clara, and Uncle Marcus, which are the main. Uh, Two characters in our story they share an interest in uh, prophesizing and also develop a special bond so simply we're speaking in this reading comprehension about the man okay this man uh, is uh, traveling a lot uh, and once he comes to the family or to the home uh, he might bring either excitement or uh, embarrassment and of course, uh, our uh, author was Isabella Alendi, which is uh, originated in uh, Spain and later moved to America. And from that, uh, she started to have her own uh, citizenship. And later, uh, President Barack Obama had already given her the Presidential Medal.
of freedom because all of his work, all of her books uh, were highly respected by other people. Oh, nice. All of them are joining us. Hello, hello. Good morning, Abdul Malik, Khaled Al Malki, Hussein, Atibi, Mishal, Muhammad Hussein, Abdul Rahman, Muhammad Ram Saidi, Tamir Kaliba, and Turkey. How are you doing, boys? Well, That's good. Cool. Yes, Muhammad? No, I don't know. This week, I believe. This week, I believe. Okay, they are finishing it at a school, and once all teachers finish, then you will have. All right. So once again, we are speaking about uh, Uncle Marcus, which is uh, the second reading comprehension in Unit Five, page four hundred forty-nine. For the last time, this reading comprehension was uh, written by Isabella Landy, and Isabella Landy she was uh, originated in Spain, moved to America, and from America she got uh, her citizenship. Uh, and she was highly recommended and known as uh, the most Spanish author uh, that people read uh, for. So she has uh, a very, very unique style uh, in applying the uh, realistic method in her own actions uh, and also about uh, some fiction or what we call uh, fiction realistic. And uh, people loved her method. Uh, that's why uh, she was. Uh, uh, given the presidential medal uh, for writing by President Barack Obama himself. This reading comprehension about Uncle Marcus speaks uh, about a man. His name was Marx. He was uh, not married, a single guy, and he occasionally traveled from one place to another. And uh, during his travels, he would uh, bring some very strange uh, string things to the house. The, uh, these uh, things might bring excitement, or on the other hand, might bring uh, uh, embarrassment, according to the thing he is uh, bringing. So, here, for example, I think I have started speaking about all of that until like paragraph number four. Paragraph number three. So we'll start from paragraph number three and one by one. Of course, if you didn't follow the first two paragraphs, you can go all this back to Sarah, you will find the videos and you can watch them again. So, Hussein, will you start paragraph number three, please? Hello, Hussein. Can you hear us? Tamer? Yes, yes, sir. Yeah, paragraph number three, please. Okay. That was Marcus's longest trip. He returned with a shipment of enormous boxes that were. Uh, piled in the far courtyard between the chicken coop and the wood, uh, and the wood uh, until the winter was over. At the first signs of spring, he had them transferred to the parade, uh, parade grounds, a huge park where people would gather to watch soldiers file by an Independence Day. Uh, with the uh, goose, the goose step, they had learned from the uh, Prussians. 
when the crates were opened, they were found to uh, contain loose bits of wood, a metal and painted clutch. Marcus spent two weeks assembling the contents according to an instruction manual written in English, which he was able to decipher decipher thanks to his invisible invisible imagination and a small dictionary when the job was finished turned out to be a bird of prehistoric uh, dimensions with the face of a furious eagle wings that moved and a, propel, a propeller on its back it caused it caused an uproar an uproar an uproar the families of the it's, uh, oligarchy uh, oligarchy uh, yes oligarchy forgot all about the uh, uh, barrel uh, organ and marcus became the star attraction of the season all right stop here please so one time once he came back from uh, that journey it was his longest uh, trip uh, to stay away from uh, his uh, niece's uh, home so once he came back uh, he started building something for the people he brought a lot of uh, merchandise a lot of goods a lot of things with him from that uh, trip uh, and uh, once he returned with the shipment it was uh, of enormous boxes a lot of boxes a lot of things he brought uh, with him that time all of them were piled in the far courtyard so uh sat upon each other like here for example piled upon each other one box after or on the other and between the chicken coop and also the wood shed until the winter is over blah 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 so once now the herd came herd like when you have uh like uh, a national day the saudi national day okay uh, people go out in the saudi national day and all of them celebrate in the streets right holding the flags of saudi arabia and playing some songs like this right right guys and the saudi national day do you go out or no I think yes, but you are sleeping. So it was uh, one of uh, these uh, days called the Independence Day, and the Independence Day means uh, the day of independence for the American people, and it's a very, very highly respected uh, day. And this day, okay, that's great. That's a great Abraham. I do too, actually. I go out too. But it's a very good day and all people are laughing and enjoying themselves so it's a very nice day to go out so also until uh, marcus he was planning for something unique for that special day which is the independence day yeah, of the uh, of, uh, united states of america so he started to get all the wood from the boxes and he started to build something which is very very strange what was he building no one knew so he collected the bits of wood metal and also painted clothes all of them and he spent two weeks assembling the contents according to the instruction manual written in english although that people did not understand what is he building or what is he doing but he could decipher thanks to his invisible imagination he could knew the instruction or understand the instruction because of the his ability to understand that and of course because of his fertile imagination because he had such an imagination that helped him to understand anything and actually when the job is finished after two weeks from building that ambiguous thing of his so it turned out to be a bird of prehistoric dimension a bird like a very very strange bird that no one has ever seen before so this bird This bird, guys, uh, what does it contain?
the spirit one I had the face of a very furious eagle face of a very furious eagle do you know the eagle yes eagle by the way is uh, the symbol of uh, Saudi uh, of the United States of America It's the one that has uh, the white uh, hair on the top of yes. the whole head, the brown yes. body of hair. All right, so once again, he built that uh, magnificent bird with uh, the face of a furious eagle and wings that moved. So we're speaking about a very, very period when uh, people did not have uh, such uh, things. So if you told them about uh, uh, something you can fly in, uh, uh, in the sky, like a plane or something, they will call you crazy. Okay, so he built an animal from wood, from cloth, and from uh, some iron, give it the face of an eagle and the wing that moved. And all of that, it caused an uproar. You know the roar of the lion, the sound that the lion makes. So also it caused an uproar, meaning that a very, very huge sound. So the families of the oligarchy. Oligarchy is one type of government. Oligarchy is one type of a government. This board is very important. You're going to use it later and later. So we have several types of uh, governments in uh, our uh, universe. On planet Earth, we have uh, a, lot of, uh, a lot of type of governments. Oligarchy is such one of them. Okay, We have bureaucracy, we have oligarchy. Okay, several types of uh, government. <clears throat> so, the families of the oligarchy, those who ruled the country, forgot all about uh, the parallel organ. Okay, and Marcus became the star of the attraction of the season because of his uh, new invention. He made the bird that can fly and also that can make sound. So, that's very nice. RTB, still with us? Muhammad TV, are you still with us or did you sleep? Yes, <clears throat> teacher. All right. Can you read, please? Okay. People look Sunday uh, out things uh, to see uh, the bird, surveyor, vendors, and strolling photographs made for to know. No, nonetheless, uh, the public's interest quickly wounded. But then Marcus announced that as soon as the weather uh, cleared, he planned to take off in this bird as cross and cross the mountain range. The news speed making this the most talked about event of the year. Do I continue or stop? All right, so can you stop here, please, so that we can uh, illustrate uh, these ambiguous uh, lines. So people took some day out to see the bird. So let's go out to see what's going on, guys, because people say that uh, there is a Something is strange right now on the streets. So let's go out and see it. So people took some day 
outings to see the bird. So started to go outside in order to see that magnificent uh, uh, invention. So souvenir vendors and strolling photographers made a fortune. Nonetheless, uh, the public's interest quickly waned. But then Marcus announced that as soon as the weather cleared, he plans to take off in his bird. And here we need to stop. So the bird that you made, okay, from some wood, cloth, and some iron, okay, you're planning to fly with it, not only to let it fly, but also to ride on that bird and fly in it. Oh, that must be some news. So, and also to cross the mountain range. So not only to fly, but also to go beyond the mountains. So the news is spread, making this most talked about event of the year. Come on, guys, let's see. A man called Mark is going to fly with his bird. Come on, let's see, let's see. So all people started to speak about Marcus and about his plan to fly his new bird. The contraption lay with its stomach on Terra's firmament heavily and sluggish and looking more like a wounded duck than like one of those newfangled airplanes. They were starting to produce in the United States. So at the time of that invention, okay, what we're speaking about is that his machine was new. No one has ever seen something like that. Right now, if I told you that I'll build a machine that can fly, what will you do? Okay, we have, we have millions of books. Uh, I can bet that some of you even have some toys that can fly, like uh, a model uh, helicopter or a model plane. Even one person nowadays, he invented uh, like uh, a jet sandal, okay, uh, that can define gravity. Can you imagine? He built a model plane that can defy gravity. Uh, that's impossible. It can just stand vertically. That's really impossible, guys. If you're mentioning this before his invention, everyone will say you're crazy. So we're speaking about the period when this machine, this invention, was not known to the people. So that's why all the people started to speak about him. As also, airplanes were starting to be produced in the United States. So they were still in the process of being produced. So they were not very common. So before planes were even produced and built, he was making his own bird. That's why all people started to speak and talk about him. There was also nothing in its appearance to suggest that it could move, much less take flight across the snowy peaks of the mountains, of course. So the journalists and also the creatures flocked to see it. Marcus smiled his immutable smile before the avalanche of Christians and posed for photographers without offering the least technical or scientific explanation of how he hoped to carry out his plan. So people started coming to him, people started asking him, uh, how was your inventions working, Mr. Marcus? Uh, can you tell us about the method? The means, the scientific uh, principle uh, upon which you just built a whole of your theories of how this machine is gonna fly. Yeah. So and people started asking him many and many and many questions. Yet he did not tell them much. He just kept it uh, like a secret. So people came from uh, the provenance uh, to see the site. Provenance, like uh, uh, you know, Riyadh. Uh, the villages around the Riyadh are called Provenance and also other cities like Jeddah or uh, Damma. They are also called Provenance to Saudi Arabia. So people came to the Provenance to see him. Okay, and let's see now uh, the machine which can uh, fly. So 40 years later, his great nephew, Nicholas, uh, who Marcus did not uh, uh, live to see, unfortunately, unearthed uh, the desire to fly that uh, 
had always existed in the men of his lineage. So Nicholas himself was interested in doing it for commercial reasons. And a gigantic hot air sausage on which would be printed an advertisement for car uh, carbonated drinks. So of course the sausage here is the air balloon. Okay, but when Marcus announced his planned trip, no one believed that his contraption could be even put at any particular use. Uh, so you, you're speaking about uh, something that can't fly? Okay, show us first. After showing us, let's see whether it can be true or it can't be true. And even if it can't be true, so how are we going to use uh, this invention of yours? Of course, they did not know back then at the time when he made this, but his uh, uh, invention is going to be used worldwide. Now we can use anything to announce on the sky. Um, actually, it's not being done in Saudi Arabia, mostly it's in America and in Europe. So I can use a plane in order to advertise for something. Okay, so Marcus, when he announced, no one believed that uh, this invention, this machine of him or of his, uh, could be put in a particular use. The particular use here we're speaking about uh, is what uh, the particular use is how can people get benefited from that invention? The appointed day dawned full of cloud. The dawn when the sun is about to rise. But so many people had turned out that Marcus did not want to disappoint them. So simply he showed up punctually at the appointed spot and did not once look up at the sky which was growing darker and darker with thick gray clouds the astonished cloud filled all the nearby streets reaching on roof tops and also balconies of the nearest houses and squeezing into the park no political gathering managed to attract so many people until half a century later when the first Marxist candidate attempted through strictly democratic channels to become president. So, uh, a list of the, those lines, okay? But on the day when they were supposed to fly uh, his new machine, what happened is that all people came just to see what's going on. How can a pearl fly in the sky? A made bird, a machine that you felt from wood, iron, and put some clothes in it. How are you going to make that fly in the sky? Yeah? Nevertheless, fly with it. So not only making the machine fly, yet to fly also with the, the machine. So all people came from everywhere just to see that invention. And no political movement, no one, no president, no one at that time could even bring all of these people together uh, to see that uh, or uh, for one uh, situation or uh, one event uh, unless half a century later like 50 years later clara herself uh, would remember uh, this holiday as long as she lived why is that people dressed in their spring best uh, thereby getting a step ahead uh, of the official opening uh, of the season the men and the white lion suits uh, and also the ladies in their italian straw hats uh, that we are all uh, the range uh, that here's uh, groups of elementary school children parted also with uh, their teachers uh, clutching uh, flowers for uh, the hero uh, marcus accepted their uh, pockets of uh, uh, flowers and also joked uh, that uh, they might also as well uh, hold on uh, them and wait uh, for him to crash so he was just like funny guy trying to give people uh, something to laugh about and uh, be on the statistics uh, so they could take them directly to his uh, funeral that was very very funny so he told them okay hold the, the uh, flowers until i come back if i crashed with the flowers of my <laughs> grave that's very funny actually so the bishop himself the bishop is the, the religious guy 
who just ask people to follow the principle of their religion. So the bishop himself accompanied by two incense. Peerers appeared to place the perth without having been asked, and the police banned the play, play heavy. On a pretentious music that pleased everyone. So the police also on the horseback and carrying lances had trouble keeping the crowd forward enough away from the center of the park. Where Marcus waited, dressed in a mechanics oval overalls with huge racers goggles or goggles and also an explorer's helmet. He was also equipped with a canvas, a telescope, and several strange maps. So simply, he was just playing and preparing himself for the flight. Just imagine a man for the first time uh, flying over and over. Okay, this was very, very uh, long ago before even inventing the planes and things like that. So all the people waited. The man dressed in uh, his uh, strange clothes to the people, of course, because uh, he had the goggles. Because now he's gonna fly, so he needs something to protect his eyes. He had the helmet so that if he crashes or something, uh, he will protect his head. And also the helmet protects his ears uh, because once you go up, uh, the air becomes uh, thinner and uh, it becomes uh, uh, colder. So he needs something to protect his. Uh, ears. He was also equipped with the compass to know the direction, telescope to help him see closer, and also several strange maps which will uh, give him the ability to define uh, where exactly he is. That uh, he had uh, traced himself based on various uh, theories uh, of uh, Leonardo da Vinci himself. Uh, so Leonardo da Vinci has written uh, and drawn uh, some of the maps for the wallet so he just needed to be sure that everything is gonna be okay and on the polar knowledge uh, of uh, the incas uh, the inca are the people who inhabited america long 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 ago before uh, anyone else come to inhabit america so against all the logic uh, on the second try uh, the bird left it off uh, without uh, misshape and also a certain elegance accompanied by the cracking of its skeleton and also the roar of its motor it threw slab in its wings and disappeared into the clouds and that's when people now became very astonished uh, how can this machine work Again, we were speaking at the period before inventing the planes. So people now became very astounded to have can uh, such a machine work and even carry a man into the clouds. Wow, that was awesome. To a second offer of applause, clapping, whistling, hand curses, drum rolls, all kinds of uh, encouraging and applause. Come on. Every kind, people were very, very enthusiastic at that moment, and the sprinkling of holy water. All that remained on the earth was the comments of the amazed crowds, below, and the multitude of experts who attempted to provide a reasonable explanation for that miracle. So people also came, uh, yeah, it uh, works like this, it's not against the gravity, no, the motor gives the wings its fly, and then it moves, and then it can go up. So people started or tried to explain what happened. Clara herself continued to stare at the sky long after her uncle had become invisible, so they cannot see him anymore, yet she was still uh, looking at the sky hoping that he will be fine she thought uh, she saw him 10 minutes later but it was only a migrating sparrow after three days uh, the initial uh, euphoria that had accompanied uh, the first airplane uh, flight in uh, the country died down and no one gave uh, the episode another thought uh, except for clara who continued to peer at uh, the horizon
So only Clara was uh, still uh, looking at uh, the sky, waiting for her uncle to come back. That's a lot actually. Seven paragraphs, and we will stop today, guys. At session, I hope that next session will be a little up. And if you have any question, have no hesitation to ask me.